never let anyone hurt you, Ahsoka. Never. But you need to come back and make your case to the Council. I'm not going to take the fall for something I didn't do, Anakin. You have to trust me now. In my eyes, this is prime Star Wars. The story, the music, the animation, the characters, the build-up, the foreshadowing, and the eventual outcome was straight up mind-blowing from every single perspective. I was only 11 years old when the finale of Clone Wars 5th season premiered, yet I have to confess that this story arc had an insane emotional impact on myself, and probably countless amounts of people that had followed the Clone Wars series from the very beginning. At the time, I couldn't possibly understand how brilliant this story truly was, the amount of layers it had, the climactic use of multitude of characters in a quite symbolic fashion, and its almost flawless setup towards Revenge of the Sith. But the heartbreaking feeling when witnessing Ahsoka walk down those stairs all alone was undeniable, even for myself, a goofy little boy that barely knew what a feeling meant. Wasn't I flying? Where's my fighter? How did I get here? Fighter crashed. I saved the day. You're welcome. Ahsoka had matured a great amount since the beginning of her journey. Her story had turned into something truly satisfying, because the fans, the series, and most importantly herself, had grown up and evolved collectively. She had been through so much, but these final four episodes was a new kind of challenge, a much more real one with life-changing consequences. The false accusations against her, combined with the reactions of everyone surrounding Ahsoka, is what makes this story so interesting and truly brilliant. Anakin's amazing loyalty, mixed with glimpses of the dark side of him, or the Jedi Order's complete ignorance and lack of ability to even admit when they're wrong, are examples of thought-provoking details that adds great context towards what concludes later down the line in Revenge of the Sith. This story does an amazing job in showcasing the so-called true perspectives of our most beloved characters, that throughout the series had been carefully teased and intensified the closer we got to the rise of the Empire. So really we're laying the groundwork and have been throughout the entire series for how you vilify the Jedi Order in the minds of the people of the Republic. The Jedi is the most obvious example. Their dogmatic and ignorant perspective once again shines bright in this story and displays ultimately why they would fall. Foreshadowing of the Empire, its huge military, and Tarkin is another layer used effectively and with purpose. You could feel the Empire looming in the background, slowly taking control, with Tarkin at the forefront, playing his part close to perfection. Another brilliant detail is Anakin and the clone troopers hunting down Ahsoka, because it's such a great illustration of what's to come when you realize the many similarities it holds with both Vader and Order 66. I've fallen from my path just as you've fallen from yours. We have a lot more in common than you think. What I admire about this arc is that Ahsoka's viewpoint totally turns upside down. Suddenly, most of her allies stands on the other side. The Senate, the Jedi, even her best friend Barris. Instead, Ventress is the one who helps her, along with Anakin, of course. Ventress and Ahsoka's team up was a quite logical one, even if it was surprising. Their journeys were more similar than what most people realize and Ventress had absolutely evolved into a more personal character, with her own ideas and agendas, very much like Ahsoka. These moments on the run, spent alone but mostly with Ventress, illustrated how capable and mature Ahsoka had become. That in turn made it so much more tragic witnessing the total mess she was involved in, wrongfully accused, chased by her own people, her only family. What took me by surprise the most was the total shift in Barry's personality and the brutal choice to target Ahsoka, her very good friend. The ironic part about her motives is that she's totally correct, only going at it from a twisted perspective. 
the Jedi had changed. They weren't peacekeepers anymore, instead soldiers. Different people throughout the Clone Wars show had voiced their problems with the Jedi leading the war, Satine being one of them, and the treatment of our most loved Padawan was one of many illustrations of how the Order had completely forgotten the compassionate side of being a Jedi. Mace dismissing any kind of responsibility and calling the whole thing a test was just the icing on the cake, and probably the tipping point for Ahsoka's huge decision of leaving the Order. Ultimately, this wasn't a test targeted towards her, instead a test for the Council, and they failed, clearly. The way Barris tries to show this theme to the public is of course wrong, and not how any ethical Jedi would do it. Yet, her speech in the final episode is haunting and alarmingly true. I did it because I've come to realize what many people in the Republic have come to realize, that the Jedi are the ones responsible for this war, that we are the ones that should be put on trial. All of us, this Republic is failing. It's only a matter of time. The relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka was one of the greatest accomplishments of the entire series. That's why the scene outside the Jedi Temple hurts so much. In my opinion, Ahsoka understood Anakin in a way no one ever truly did. She mirrored him, made him display his best abilities. But Anakin also learned so much about himself just from teaching her. They were quite perfect together. And in the end, Ahsoka had become a small glimpse of what Anakin could have been if he wouldn't have turned. Witnessing such a long and detailed arc between a master and its apprentice made their bond unique and relatable because the fans had seen everything, the good and the bad. The way Anakin remained on Ahsoka's side throughout these last episodes was so awesome that he let her go and trusted her to do the right thing was character development I never thought I would see regarding the chosen one. Ultimately, Ahsoka made Anakin a better person, and that's why her leaving him was the correct choice for Star Wars as a one story. A brutal choice that sadly made Anakin fall closer to his inevitable death. I understand wanting to walk away from the Order. I know. Ahsoka did what Anakin couldn't, what he was too afraid to do. It's symbolism at its finest, tragic but beautiful, mirroring this incredible final story regarding one of the greatest relationships in Star Wars history, while also setting up the journey of Star Wars close to perfection, leaving Anakin alone, sad and frustrated, the Jedi Council at its worst, with the shameful and corrupt politics emerging from the shadows. This is doubtlessly Star Wars at its best. Thank you for watching. Press the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And may the force be with you.